As always, if you haven't done so yet, please pause the video and attempt the question before listening on. For part A, we know that the capacitance is equal to a constant multiplied by the area on one of the plates divided by the distance that separates the plates. And those values were given in the question. The area is given in a standard unit of meters squared and the distance between the plates is given. We just have to multiply that distance by 10 to the minus three in order to convert it from millimeters into meters. So with that in mind, we can just plug in. Notice the constant epsilon is given in the parentheses here. When we simplify this, we get a value of approximately 5.90 times 10 to the minus 10, and then the standard unit of capacitance is farads. So this would be the correct answer to part A. For part B, we know the charge stored on the plates is equal to the capacitance of the plates multiplied by the potential difference. We just figured out the capacitance in part A, and then the potential difference would be given by the potential of the battery. And when we simplify this, we get a value of approximately 3.54 times 10 to the minus 9th coulombs would be the standard unit of charge. Moving on to part C, to calculate the electric field, we would simply divide the potential difference between the plates by the distance that separates the plates. And again, those values were given in the question. Just remember to use the standard value for the distance. And when we simplify this, we get a value of 2 times 10 to the third, and then the unit could be expressed as volts per meter or newtons per coulomb. Those are both acceptable units for the electric field. So that's the correct answer to part C. For the charge density, part D of the question, we just take the charge on each one of the plates and divide it by the area of the plates. Recall that the charge had been previously calculated in part B of the question. And this would simplify to approximately 1.77 times 10 to the negative eighth. And we can see from the setup that the standard unit of the charge density would be coulombs per meter squared. Now, from this equation, which we used in part A, we can see that if the distance between the plates is increased, that will tend to decrease the capacitance. And since the charge is dependent on capacitance times the potential difference, if the capacitance decreases, then the charge will also decrease. Recalling that charge density is equal to Q over A, if the Q is decreased, then the charge density is also decreased. So in essence, in part E of the question, what happens to each of our previous answers they will all decrease. So that would be the correct answer to part E. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video. If you liked it, please click the thumbs up icon and also subscribe to the channel so you can stay tuned for additional videos. You're welcome to send your own question into this email address and I'll do my best to post an answer to it on YouTube.